Hey Ben, hey, it's it's me, Bugsy. I just wanted to say, man, I um, I know it's like I know it's like to lose a parent. I know that feeling all too well, man. It's a feeling that will go away, will kind of go away over time, but it never truly goes away. You'll have better days where it's manageable, where it's easy. And then you'll have other days where you're angry as fuck and you don't know why. But in the back of the head, you, in the back of your head, you do know why. I could tell you, you know, I could tell you a lot of things, but I just want you to know, man, I'm worried about you. And then, me and the rest of me and the rest of the crew, you know, double myself, Reno. You know, the others, we're we're here for you, man. And if you, like I said, if you need to talk to any of us, we are right here, man. No, no matter what it is, no matter what we're doing, just be like, hey, Bugsy, hey, Reno, hey, double. Hey, I'm here to talk to you guys. And I know how I know how it feels to lose a parent. You know, it feels like a part of you is missing when you lose a big part of your life. Because when a parent does die, they are a big part of your life, and you feel a certain you feel a certain kind of way about it. You know, my 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 dad was like a big part of my life, and it was it's real it was it's really hard even now to say to myself every day that he's gone. It was years ago. It's years ago, but it's still that wound, that wound is still fresh. I don't think I don't think I ever fully truly heal, but with with actual friends that care about you. With people by your side, it gets a little easier. Always remember, I got your back. I got your back, Axiom Bound. This Chaos Lord still got your back. And if you need to talk about it, I'm always here. Trust me, I can tell you some stories about my dad and me. You could share you some stories about you and your mom. And we could just go like that. <laughs> and trust me, I won't I won't annoy you. I won't annoy you either. You get a more you get a moratorium on that until you start feeling better. Then I'm gonna have fun just annoying you a little bit. In little increments until I know you're actually fully better. Just know, just know, and I don't care. I don't care what you say about this one last part. I'm your friend, Benny, and if you need to talk, if you need to talk to me about anything, I am right here. The guy, the guys in me care, and I want you to know that if you need me, I don't care if it's like. I don't care if it's like 12 at night and I'm like working on something or playing something or doing something. Just be like, hey, Bugsy, if you, you got a minute, and I'll be like, yeah. Because you're my, fr you're my friend, Ben. And I want you to know that. <laughs> even, though, <laughs> even though I may... You know, get on get on your nerves with my shenanigans. <laughs> you will always be my friend, dude. No matter what. Always remember that. And always remember always remember that your mom wouldn't want you to be sad. If she's any, if she was anything like my father, she'd want you to be happy. She'd want you to live out there living your best life, doing what you love, and just enjoying yourself. I don't know your mom, but I'm pretty sure that's what she'd want you to 
he wants you to do. And trust me, whenever the fu- whenever the funeral is, just again, again, just come, reach out to me, reach out to the others. I know what that feels like too. It is, it is the worst kind of fucking pain. I swear. It's a pain I don't wish on anybody. Even the people I really, really fucking hate. (laughs) Like I said, Ben, take care of yourself. I'm always around. Come talk when you're ready. Bugsy, out.